Today's word is curl. Let's look at its pronunciation, meaning, and sentences. It's pronounced as curb, uh, curb. It means, as a verb, to control or keep in check, to hold back or to stop somebody or something from doing something. Now, curb isn't a word you can easily draw a picture of. You will need to use it till you get the picture. As a noun, it means a sidewalk or footpath or pavement, a rim on the side of the road where people can walk. It also means a thing that checks or restrains, like a curb bit on the horses. This word has several forms that are used for stating different aspects. Curb, curbed, curbs, curbing. Now let's look at some practical ways of using curb in sentences. The government is seeking to impose curbs on indoor and outdoor gatherings in Punjab in view of the spreading coronavirus. Now you can also say place curbs or introduce curbs on something. The latest amendment will help place a curb on the rampant practice of marketing of unapproved or substandard or spurious drugs. Now place a curb on or simply curb the rampant practice. Both are fine. So third one. The object of the act is to put a curb on advertisements that seek to promote self-treatment and self-medication. I can also say act as a curb on advertisements. So the object of the act is to act as a curb on advertisements. Now the point here is the object of the act is to act. So a repetition of act. In this case, therefore, I would use put instead of act. Put a curb on and not act as a curb on, although grammatically it isn't wrong. Note, the word curb is almost always followed by on. You put curbs on something or someday. Finally, some synonyms. Now notice the word stresses. As a verb, you can say constrain, restrain, suppress, inhibit, keep a tight rein on, and trammel. As a noun, muzzle, rein, restriction, deterrent, restraint, rim. Thank you for watching this video, liking it and subscribing to our channel. We'll see you in the next video. Until then.